Hey everybody, my name's Dan Fur, and welcome to Synth School. Today I want to teach you how to use an LFO. So in our last video, we learned what an LFO does and what it can sound like, but we didn't learn how to actually program it, so that's what I want to do today. So to understand an LFO, there's three main things you need to understand. Shape, frequency, also known as rate, and amount. If you understand those three things, you can program an LFO easily. So let's dive into a synth and figure out what these three parameters actually mean. Let's start off by focusing on shape. So as we can see, the wave shapes available to choose from are the exact same shapes that the oscillators have. So realistically, the wave shapes among LFOs and oscillators don't change. They follow the exact same patterns because they're all oscillators. Next up is we have depth, also known as amount. And what this does is it basically dictates how drastic the LFO is. At a high depth, the LFO is going to be very drastic and easily noticeable. But at a very low depth, it's going to be not very drastic and it's going to be pretty minimal. And finally, we have frequency, also known as rate. And this basically comes down to the speed you want the LFO to run at. So the higher the rate, the faster the LFO is going to be circling. Now many analog synths have a limitation with their LFO, and they're limited to wave shapes. But when we look at Serum, we can actually see it allows us to draw our very own wave shapes, so we can create some extremely customizable sounds through some extremely customizable LFOs that can't be done on an analog synth. Take a look at this one, for example. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you learned something about LFOs today. As always, if you ever have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Have a good one. Cheers.